Have you ever watched those videos that say they can dig the fastest trench? And usually they're using that little tiny spade shovel, that little red shovel. That's a trenching shovel. Let me show you how to dig a trench. Easier and faster than all of those other videos combined. I put together two videos side by side using two different shovels. You will be able to see for yourself what is the difference between these two shovels and which one is better. So I made two trenches and cut the sod off. On one trench, we're using the trenching shovel. And on the other trench, we'll use a regular 8 inch shovel. It's always so surprising to see those contractors out there using that smaller shovel instead of using the big shovel. Okay, let's take a look at these side-by-side -side clips. So I put the clock up there for no other reason, just to show you that it doesn't matter how fast you try to dig, you're going to be digging at different speeds. So putting the clock up there just kind of keeps it in perspective. You know, you try to dig fast with one shovel or the other, but it doesn't matter. The clock just keeps it all in perspective. At this point in the video, it kind of looks like everything's exactly the same. But you know, we've got to come back and clean the trench out down to the bottom. So take a look at the end of this little clip and you'll see how much difference there really is between using the big large 8 inch shovel and that small 5 inch trenching shovel. I'm not trying to rush any portion of this video. I'm digging just at a regular normal rate so that you can really see the difference between these two shovels. So many videos out here telling you they can dig the fastest trench and the greatest trench, but you know, you can kind of see it now in this video how much difference there is between using the 8 inch and the 5 inch shovel. Trenching shovels are great. Every tool has an application. Sometimes you hear people say, the right tool for the right job. If you notice now, it's been a minute and 25 seconds, how much difference there is by using the right tool for the right job. The other thing that's very important is to know how to use that shovel. If you'll watch to the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how to use that shovel. You might think, oh, that's just a silly thing. Anybody can do this. But you know what? I dig all day long, been digging for 35 years, and I don't get tired. I get hot and sweaty, but I don't get tired. Okay, I'm almost finished with that upper trench, as you can see. It's going to be right around two minutes. You know, there really is a science to using the shovel. Let me show you how to do that, how to dig so much easier and so much faster, so much more efficiently that you can dig for a long, long time. Okay, while we're still digging on the lower trench, let me show you a picture of the trench that I dug with the big shovel. Can you see that? That is a very clean trench, ready to lay pipe or lay wire or lay your sewer line. So you can see this shovel, wow, it's so much faster. So you can see with the regular spade, with the regular shovel, not only can it run four inch, but it can run six inch. This is four inch. And that was six inch. It fits in the same trench, but you've got to have a big <laughs> shovel to do it. Still using that little five inch trenching shovel. You can see it's really a slow way to go. It doesn't make a very clean trench. Uh, it is not the shovel to use for digging trenches. It does have a purpose. I mean, when we run the trencher, you know, the ditch witch, we usually come back with that shovel and scrape the little bit of dirt that has fallen off of the chain. But to dig a trench with this thing, and I see so many people doing this, including what they call contractors, using this shovel, this little five inch spade to do it. What we really need is that big eight inch shovel. And let me show you the science of using the shovel. So here's both of the trenches. They're both the same length and you can see the difference of time. I mean, the big shovel was two minutes and 15 seconds and the little shovel was almost four minutes. I know, you know, the numbers don't mean a lot, but imagine digging a hundred feet. 
Okay, science of using a shovel to dig a trench. What we're doing, we've already taken the sod off, and now we're starting to trench. Notice I'm working backwards. That's really important. Here's a really good tip. Can you see my elbow where it's at? It's on my leg. And as I lift that shovel up, I use my leg to help lift the shovel with that heavy mud and clay out of the trench. Watch it again. Sink the shovel down, however you can get it down. Wiggle, stomp. You see my, where my elbow is? It's on my knee. And I use my leg to help lift that dirt up and out of the trench. Digging by hand is a very arduous and difficult task. You can hurt your back quite easily. Here's another great example of using that knee as leverage. We're digging backwards. In other words, we work backwards through our trench. You don't have to jump on the shovel. You just sink it down and pull out the dirt. Scoot that shovel back about four to six inches from the last place that you put your shovel in and use your body weight. Wiggle that shovel straight down and pull out great big chunks of dirt. We'll speed up the video a little bit so you can see how fast this goes. But if you dig about 10 feet backwards, and then turn around and come back and clean your trench, you'll be surprised how fast this can be done. Once you go about 10 feet, go ahead and start coming back through your trench. Use your body weight, place the shovel on the bottom of the trench, and just push it forward. This will clean out all of the loose debris that has fallen in the trench. Also, it will make it much easier for you to come back if you have to go deeper. Remember that water runs downhill. Push the shovel forward, use your body weight, lift that out. Now this may seem like a really silly video, and we may get some really lame comments, but for the do-it-yourself homeowner that wants to do this properly, take a look. So, I've told everybody you can do this yourself. You see, we've got one of our female crew members out here to show you how to do this. So, can you imagine trying to use that little five-inch uh, trenching shovel to do this job. If you use the big shovel and follow the advice I just gave you about using your knee for leverage, how to sink the shovel down, work backwards, this is her first day on the job and we taught her how to dig a trench. Look at that. She's got that trench almost done. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.